curious to know what the top five master plan communities are located in the northwest side of Las Vegas? Well, that's what I'm going to cover today. I'm going to start right now. Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local Las Vegas realtor. And today, I'm gonna to go over the top five master plan communities in the Northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley. Some of this may also include part of the West side as well, because it's just like this one big section. Scattered throughout the Las Vegas Valley are various master plan communities. There are so many master plan communities. I can't go over them all, so I'm gonna pick my top five master plan communities that you should either check out or move to in the Northwest West side of town. The master plan communities in Las Vegas are distinguished with tremendous numbers of amenities and conveniences they offer local residents. Because of their sheer size, master plan communities can incorporate extensive recreational amenities like lakes, golf courses, expansive parks with bike paths, and jogging trails. Again, although there are numerous master plan communities scattered throughout the entire valley, I'm going to go over what I feel are the top five in the west northwest part of town. I'm established Las Vegas resident. I have been here for over 25 years and I have mostly lived on the northwest side of town. And I really cannot see myself living anywhere else. Being a real estate agent, I get to travel to different parts of the valley, but for some reason I always come back to the northwest side of town. And we're gonna go over why. So my top five, it's not in any particular order, what one's better than the other. So take that with a grain of salt that I'm just going in order of how I created this information. <laughs> so the first master plan community that I'm gonna go over today is Summerlin. Go figure, right? <laughs> and Summerlin is the largest master plan community here in Las Vegas. And it sits actually on the northwest, west, and southwest side of town. And this community has something for everyone, for the truly young to the truly young at heart. Home options include single family homes, urban inspired lofts, townhomes, and apartments, mid-rise luxury condominiums, and exclusive custom neighborhoods. All come with the address in the city's most coveted community, Summerlin. Summerlin occupies 22,500 acres on the western rim of the valley and features an extensive array of parks, biking and hiking trails, shops, schools, libraries, and business districts, as well as community tennis courts and pools, recreational facilities, and an amphitheater for performing arts. Summerlin also has numerous public and private golf courses and retirement communities, as well as family-oriented neighborhoods. There are more than 100,000 people that live in the Summerlin Master Plan community, which encompasses about 5% of Clark County. And Summerlin is more of an affluent area, and the home prices here are a little more expensive than um, other Master Plan communities. They tend to be in, you can find something decent, 350,000 and up, but more like 400,000 and up. 350 is gonna get you a small house, and if you're looking for a single story home in Summerlin, then you need to shell out a lot of money. Just kidding. Some reason the single story homes tend to be a little more uh, because that is a very high demand item. I have covered all the Summerlin villages on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in learning more, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I post a lot of things about Summerlin. And a lot of clients ask me, how come you never go over prices? Well, if the videos are gonna be on the YouTube for a long time, prices are interchanging. So, but right now, Summerlin is a little more costly than the rest of the valley. And the number two community I'm gonna go over is Desert Shores. Desert Shores is a beautiful master plan community with a little over 3,500 homes. Located in the northwest side of town and at the eastern edge of Summerlin. Desert Shores was developed in 1988 and includes 22 different residential districts, 
with everything from condominiums to medium price housing and large custom homes behind private gates. All the lakefront homes have direct access to the lakes and the option of private docks. Desert Shores encompasses 682 acres and features four man-made lakes and a 200,000 gallon lagoon style swimming pool surrounded by a sandy beach, palm trees, a picnic area with volleyball, basketball, and playground facilities. The community docks provide paddle boating and fishing for the residents. The 2100 square foot clubhouse with terrace on the side of the main lake is the site of many private parties and special community events. Being recreation oriented, Desert Shores offers miles of walking paths. And I have lived in, most of the time that I've lived in the Northwest, I've lived in either Summerlin North or the Desert Shores South Shores area. I really enjoy Desert Shores. I like going to the lakes, feeding the ducks, and then also walking around there. It's so beautiful, the water's beautiful. A lot of people who are relocating from California tend to gravitate towards the Desert Shores area because of the water and the palm trees. But it is not affiliated with Summerlin. It is very close to Summerlin on the east side, um, but it's no affiliation to Summerlin. And the number three master plan community is the lakes. The Lakes is an affluent two square mile master plan community located in the western part of the valley near the Spring Mountains and Red Rock Canyon National Conservation, just east of Summerlin. And a lot of people think that's Summerlin as well. However, the Lakes is the Lakes and Summerlin is Summerlin. <laughs> but the Lakes is super close to all of downtown Summerlin, City National Arena, and the Las Vegas ballpark. It was built in the mid 1980s to the early 90s and at the time was the edge of the development in the valley. The centerpiece of the community and its namesake is a large 30 acre man-made lake called Lake Sahara. The lakes has around 4,000 homes that consists of a mixture of gated communities and large single family homes, condominiums, commercial areas and offices. This community is also surrounded by miles of beautiful tree line walking paths with numerous exercise stations and scenic rest areas that enjoy panoramic views of the lakes, mountains, mature trees, and beautiful hillsides. And I have done a YouTube video on the lakes, so just click up there somewhere about what this lakes master plan community is. In fact, I've done a YouTube video for each of these master plan communities that I'm covering today. So if you want to learn more about them, watch my videos. And the number four master plan community is Providence. Providence is a 1200 acre master plan community nestled above the sparkling city lights in the upper west side of the Las Vegas Valley. Here you'll find all the modern comforts and amenities you would expect, but what separates Providence from other Las Vegas communities it's its core sensibilities and the developer's vision of creating a place that is truly inspired by tradition. Tree-lined boulevards connect neighborhoods, flowing parks offer residents endless opportunity for recreation, and a year-round calendar of planning committee events brings neighbors together to enjoy family activities while at the same time nurturing a tight-knit community. Providence has 30 distinct neighborhoods and approximately 7,500 residents. From estate homes to condominiums, from the moment someone enters into Providence, the spirit of tradition is felt. And Providence was designed around Providence, Rose Island, that whole concept of the tradition, family feel, tree line pass, all that good stuff. Uh, again, video tour of Providence up there. <laughs> and my last master plan community that I'm gonna go over today is actually Sky Canyon. The next generation master plan community, Sky Canyon, is in the Northwest Valley covering 1,700 acres and has approvals for up to 9,000 homes to be developed. And the thing about this community is it's still being developed and Providence as well. And there's a lot of new home builders out there. Um, again, watch my video on Providence. I go over all the different builders that are in there and all that fun stuff. When you go there, you will discover a new Epic Center of Vibrant Living. Sky Canyon has a collection of inspired neighborhoods dedicated to vitality, relaxation, adventure, balance, and beauty. Here, state-of-the-art amenities share the landscape with neighborhood parks, dedicated trails, open space, and the expansive wilderness that awaits nearby. Sky Canyon Park is an inviting 1,500-acre gathering place and the hub of community activity. 
Here, you'll find Sky Center and Sky Fitness. Sky Center is a beautifully appointed 8,000 square foot rustic contemporary community. Amenities include the home finding center, a meeting room, gathering areas, and Sky Bistro. The nearly 10,000 square foot Sky Canyon Fitness features top of the line exercise equipment, a yoga room, outdoor junior Olympic swimming pool, multi-use sports field, basketball court, and juice bar. And um, like I mentioned in my video about Sky Canyon, Sky Canyon has more of a lodgy type feel to me, uh, more like a Denver, Colorado type feel. I think because it's more closer to Mount Charleston possibly, but the thing I like about these two master plan communities, the last two anyway, is their theme um, take on things. Uh, Summerlin really doesn't have a theme per se, uh, but the lakes and desert shores does. Um, you know, choosing between these five communities could be a tough decision. It just depends on when you take a look at these homes, one, what's your price range, and two, what are you looking for in the master plan community? Each of them offer different types of amenities. Um, if you like the mature areas, then the lakes and desert shores and part of Summerlin have some mature areas. But if you're looking for new home builds, then Summerlin, Providence, and Sky Canyon both have new home builders. Now the thing you gotta remember about new home builds, especially if you're buying into the Summerlin community, is that you're gonna have what's called SIDS um, that you will have to pay. And SIDS is something that I will have to create another video on to go over. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that now. But the key is having a real estate agent that is an expert in these communities and that knows the area as well. Because if you find any agent that doesn't know the area, they're not gonna be able to assist you properly. I am very well versed in all five of those communities. So that's why I went over the top five master plan communities in the Las Vegas Valley. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the summary of the master plan communities here in the Northwest. One day I may do a video on the master plan communities in the Southwest part of town, which is Mountain's Edge, uh, part of Summerlin, Southern Highlands and Rhodes Ranch that I can think of right now. One day. Got a lot of videos to post, but stay tuned. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home here in Las Vegas, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer seller form down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, be sure to, you know, hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my videos or another area or community that you want me to cover, right? Share this with a friend and please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about Las Vegas. I cover a lot of things about Las Vegas and not just about the communities that we have here in the Valley but about things happening around the city. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching today and I will see you on the next one. Peace out guys.